What's up you guys, it's Jason, and yes, you are reading the title right. We fell out of escrow. It is not the ideal situation that we were looking for, but it happened. So today I want to discuss what happened since my last video of where we entered escrow. We had around 53 different showings. We had eight different offers on the property, and let's get into it. So after we accepted an offer on the last transaction, we were able to send out the disclosures to the other agent. We were able to get the inspection report done and we finally were down to the last part, which was getting that appraisal done. And unfortunately, the appraisal came in short and the buyer did not want to cover any of the difference and they ended up walking away. So. That appraisal really messed up the entire deal. And I can understand why. I mean, we're in a very hot market. We are seeing prices being appraised right now that we have never seen before for certain homes. Buyers are willing to pay the difference. They're paying upwards of 30, 40, even $50,000 towards a home that is essentially not even worth that much. So what do you do in this situation? It's really difficult for buyers right now to find a place. But since I'm representing the seller on this transaction for right now, I don't need to worry. Unfortunately, I do need to help them find another house. So we're going to be in the exact same situation. So since my last video, we actually were able to find another buyer. This time around, we had maybe around 20, 25 showings and we had five offers come in. We also changed the terms of the contract to conventional and cash only because we had that appraisal issue last time. And there was one offer that came in at 415. Now, keep in mind the listing price of the house was 385. So to get an offer that was that much higher, you know, I had all eyes on that. They were even willing to cover the difference between the listing price and what they offered if the appraisal came short. So very solid offer, but unfortunately the day that I was going to present offers, they decided to walk away. And that put me in another situation where I was now down to four offers to present to my sellers, which is still a good problem to have four offers is great but that offer just looked the best. And on top of that, you're not gonna believe this. Uh, for those of you who are in the real estate scene, they put a security deposit of $64,000. And I personally have never seen anything like that before, but that's how badly they wanted the house in that time. But of course they fell off. So that evening I went to my seller's house. I met with them to discuss all the offers that we received in and we came down to one offer that was still pretty solid it wasn't anywhere near 415 but it was definitely a very competitive offer so since we had listed the house at 385 they were coming in and putting an offer at 395 but the only catch was that they were willing to pay ten thousand dollars above the appraised value not to exceed that 395. so if the house came in at 395 then that would be great we would go forward and and there would be no issues if, if the appraisal came in but if the appraisal came short like it did with the last transaction or the last buyer then we'd be in a situation just like before except we would have that ten thousand to add on top of that. It, it's kind of iffy because if the appraisal came in low again, it still wouldn't make up the difference between the sales listing price and where the sellers would want it to be. But that's just how the market is. That's how that neighborhood is being appraised right now. So there's not much you can really do. You just have to accept the appraisal for what it is on the house and either the sellers move forward or they decide to drop out like we did last time. So as of right now, we opened escrow yesterday on the property. We are going forward with our current buyers and we have the 
the escrow company working with them to get all of the, their documents straight. And right now I just need to wait for the security deposit to come in for them, which uh, was a, a good amount. It was around four or 5,000. And once that comes into escrow, then we know that they're serious. We know that they're ready to go. And then the only other issue would be the home inspection and the appraisal. So if those two pass, then we're good to go. The home inspection on the last house came in uh, perfectly. There was only one issue. And I mean, that was just a, a minor issue with the dishwasher and the buyers decided to go forward with that one anyways. So no issues there, but that appraisal is really starting to scare me. But that's my update that I wanted to give you guys about this house and this market. I mean, as I mentioned before, last, uh, showing we had 53 buyers coming through the house and this time 20 to 25 eight offers last time five offers this time it's absolutely insane right now the demand and supply ratio is just not anywhere near equal and so that's why we're having this struggle we have the low interest rates we have not enough sellers too many buyers and that's just what it is right now but we'll see what happens when the mortgage forbearance goes out and we'll see if the government tries to save some of these homeowners from losing their homes but that's all up in the air we can't predict these things we never know when the government's going to step in we never know what they're going to put in place to either save or to to help these homeowners out so that's where we're at right now with the housing market but if the government doesn't step in and you have all of these homes going into forbearance we're probably going to see a decrease in home prices and we're probably going to see a lot more foreclosures hitting the market which i feel for these home sellers because it's not like they asked for this to happen to them we were all put into the situation that we couldn't prevent and now they have to deal with it some of them have lost their jobs some of them have no health care they can't by even groceries right now. And it's very unfortunate, but it is where we stand. So I'm expecting once that mortgage forbearance ends that either the government steps up to help them or we're going to see a lot of mess in the housing market. Considering that we've been going up for the last 10, 12 years now with this housing market, and we all know that the housing market goes in cycles. So right now we're at the top again. Actually, if you ask me, I think we've exceeded that top. We're a little bit higher, but soon we're gonna start seeing a drop again. But those are my thoughts. These are just my uh, opinions on what's gonna happen and we'll see what happens. I, I, don't, I really don't know, but it's very, very intimidating for a lot of people right now. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with others. And on that note, I will see you all in the next video.